Hey Epic Theorem players, Sodi here back again with a new video. So it's been a very long time since I made a video. But the reason why I'm making a video today is because I'm finishing Legend this season, I think. I hope. I mean, I'm ranked 19th right now with about an hour to go. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I'll be uh, finishing Legend. So yeah, I haven't been making any videos because I've been very busy with life but you know with this uh, special occasion uh, you know, finishing legend I, I thought yeah I might as well do a roster showcase so my final game was versus elf mage so it's like a final boss yeah I remember when I killed into him I'm, I I like had a sigh I'm like oh okay here's where the um, the losing streak starts right <laughs> because I was on a good streak you know and then yeah, I went up against Elf Mage. The game came down to a 1v1, my A Ravi versus his S10. -E, and then my A Ravi resisted S10 -E's S3 stun. And that won me the game. So thank you, Smilegate, for having 15% in the game. Uh, it got me, uh, it secured me a spot in Legend. Uh, Smilegate, you're the best. Alright, guys, so I made a quick cut. Uh, looks like I'll be finishing rank 19 this season because it's only. Uh, four minutes left to go, I think. Okay, three minutes left in the season, so yeah, I'll be finishing rank 19 overall. Sweet. So I'll go over some of my um, drafts, I guess. Yeah, so if you guys can see, my last game was played 13 hours ago, so I actually secured Legend. Um, halfway through the day like I actually prepared to play the whole day today but yeah uh, lucked out had a good streak going and managed to just AFK the day out finish legend um, halfway through the day so that was great so uh, yeah I'm a clean first player however I can uh, adapt to the draft and go with standard if my opponent picks a bunch of uh, anti cleave units or if um, cleave units are pre-banned, like here, uh, ran was banned. So yeah, I usually go for Pyrrha and all ran as my ideal uh, openers. And then my cleavers would be my uh, Caesarea, Edda, Pavel, uh, you guys know the uh, all the meta cleave units. And I have some off-meta uh, off cleavers like um, Fire Carrick, for example, which I do pick from time to time. I also dropped Cerise, as you guys can see here. Um, Cerise is actually pretty nice to have geared because if Ran and or Pyrrha gets banned, uh, you can pick her and she will surprise the opponent. You know, they won't see it coming. Some people they pre ban Pyrrha and Ran and then they draft really weak into those two because they forget Cerise is a thing. So. Yeah, Cerise came in handy. I won't give her my best gears, but she's fast enough to contest. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and here, um, uh, Wondrous Silk got buffed she, uh, by getting the speed imprint, right? So she's the best speed imprint in my opinion. So yeah, I was really happy when she got buffed and I built her straight away. So yeah, I geared up a bunch of speed imprints, so my, you know, all the meta ones, except for the green Vildred, I won't have him, because he's 5 star, and you need many imprints for him. You know, I've got all the other ones, uh, Watcher Shuri, Fire Shuri, Sid, Wanderer Silk, etc. All geared, so yeah, I'll show you guys uh, the gears right now, so. Okay, 40 seconds left. Um, I'll just stay here till the end, I guess. Yeah. I'll make a quick cut to the very end. Actually, I can just... Um, I don't have to cut. It's only, it's only 20 seconds left or something, so let's just stay here. Alright. Okay. Uh, 24 seconds countdown. It's like a New Year countdown kind of thing. <laughs> but it's like countdown to the end, right? Yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, lots of mind games this season. Like, this guy, uh, you know... Drafted a bunch of uh, this draft. We, we both went um, Bruce esque here, standard, and then here he tried to cleave me. I went anti cleave. Um, here I tried to cleave him, and he went anti cleave, and I uh, popped out Roanna into my cleave, uh, 
uh, into my cleave team. So yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, lots of mind games uh, this season. Wait a second, why does it say 23 hours left? Shouldn't the season be over? Season has ended, okay. Okay, so... So what now? Next season preparation in progress. 1 hour 59 minutes left. So did I get my frame yet? Oh, we have to wait 2 hours to get the frame. Okay, alright, be right back. Alright, let's grab the rewards for this season. Oh, it's in the mailbox, okay. okay. So we got background, uh, made Chloe skin. She's not that great now though, but usable. And last but not least, the legend frame. Okay, let's try and equip the frame here. Hmm. Ooh, that looks, that looks really good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Alright, now let's get right into the roster showcase here. Yeah? Alright, so firstly I'll be going over my openers. So these are units I would pick to go first, or I would contest with. So here's my run. Went for a pretty standard speed DPS build. So he's got 304 speed. Um, he's on crit main neck, so his crit damage is pretty low but you know in for me in order to get him to 300 plus speed and 100 crit I need to give him a crit chance main neck or he's gonna be at like 80% crit or something so you know I went along with this build uh, gave him RNL this artifact's really good sometimes I would like defense break a ram and then I would S1 her and she'll take massive damage so very nice artifact uh, silver rain's also really good Gives you all DPS unit and attack buff. But I think the best artifact on him is probably a maxed out Sword of Summer Twilight. Because you can one shot stuff with this artifact. So yeah, that's my ran. Next we got Piera. So this is my fastest unit. She's got most of my best speed gears. So I have her at 314 speed. Uh, yeah, you basically just go speed, some tankiness and effectiveness on her. Uh, I really like Alabastron. This artifact really good on her. So you either go this artifact or Goblet, right, for effectiveness. And yeah, the, the thing about this artifact is it gives you 37.5% effectiveness at only plus 15. So my Pyrrha essentially has around almost 150 effectiveness and she doesn't have any imprints. So with imprints that goes up, right? So yeah, the downside of this build is she's got flat attack necklace on so her HP is a bit low so sometimes you die to like a violet plus uh, rem or belly encounter right but she survived one uh, counter from let's say a violet she can survive that because she's got defense percent main ring on so um, that will help her survive a hit from anti cleave units so yeah that's my Pyrrha next we got conqueror lilies oops so here's my C Lilius. Uh, I have her at 287 speed. Uh, I wish she was faster, but you know I just don't have, you know, enough gears to go around to make everybody super fast. That's just not possible, right? I feel like ideally I want her to be at 290, so I'll be working on that. Um, she's got blue necklace on, but it's not bad, 17 speed, you know. But yeah, if this was 20 speed, uh, she'd be at 290, so. Yeah, nothing much here, just a pretty standard Conqueror Lilius. Just go for tankiness, speed and effectiveness. Uh, next we got Cerise. So my Cerise is 292 speed. Funny how she's faster than my um, C Lilius, even though I drafted less than Conqueror Lilius. She's got 20 speed. Uh, I wish I can give this to C Lilius, but if I did, um, She's gonna have way less HP, so yeah, it's not ideal, right? You don't really need tankiness on Ceres, you want tankiness on Conqueror Lilius, but uh, I would mainly draft Ceres against players who would pre-ban like Rand plus Pyrrha, or maybe one of the two. And then some games I would wanna have Rand or Pyrrha and Ceres, so yeah, I would pick her and you know, players that draft 
I mean the pre-ban RAN plus Pyra, they would drop really weak into RAN and Pyra because they're both banned, right? So Cerise is an amazing pick because she's essentially just a, uh, a lesser version of RAN and Pyra. So this unit's really good. Uh, next we got DN. So DN I just geared her up uh, recently. She got recently buffed, right? Really good unit. Ideally you want her fast, but again, I just don't have enough speed gears to go around. So I just made her tanky with, uh, so she's got 274 speed because you get 15 speed in RTA. Um, they, I mean 14, 15 speed. So they're changing that, but yeah, uh, for last season, you know, she's at 274 speed, which is okay. Um, in terms of artifact, gave her Guardian Ice Crystals. There's so many good artifacts uh, for Soul Weavers. You can go for um, Tomb, you can go for Rod. Uh, rod, um, this one heals up, even idle shit is pretty good, so yeah, many good artifacts uh, you can give to your soul weavers, you know. Um, next we have Hand Guy, aka Ammo Carrick. So, Ammo Carrick, very good unit this season. Um, I personally don't pick him that much. Um, I usually face him, but he's really good. Um, he's going to something like Angel of Light. He, he, he's just a, a universally good unit, right? So yeah, I basically went for standard tanky build with some speed. Ideally, you want her, I mean, you want him to be at over 250, but yeah, this worked fine for me. A uh, Warhorn, I say it's a must have on him. Just a really good artifact. Uh, helps you cut cleavers if he doesn't get restricted. Uh, or the Sigma debuff, uh, debuff from the RAN, right? So next we got Angel of Light. So Angel of Light, sometimes I pre-ban her. Um, yeah, you don't want the side uh, So mine's on a meme build. I have 250 effectiveness with the side fact. So she essentially has 300 effectiveness. So she's got a debuff most things in the game, even if they have like 200 ER or even 250 ER, she'd have 50% chance to um, uh, strip and silence them, right? So, yeah, uh, the build is um, it's okay, I'd say. Uh, I, I like I said, I pre-ban her a lot. I rarely pick her. I usually face her. So, yeah, it's one of those units that it's nice to have, but I didn't really use her much. Um, don't get me wrong, she's really good, just not that great in my uh, playstyle. So next we have Solitary, another very good unit that I did not use that much. Some games should be really good in, like let's say going up against like Rimuru plus Kick Girl. Those two units they're weak to debuffs, right? So I'll just stun Rimuru and then I just continuously apply uh, Abyssal Crown procs through her S1, right? Stun, uh, the stun stack, you know, this can stun, her S1 can stun, AoE stun, and yeah, she does the job fine. The reason why I went for 279 speed is because sometimes I go up against a speed rilet and they can go all the way up to 290 speed, right? But some of them, they go 260, 270 speed, so I can outspeed those. I don't want to pick her into a rallet and then just get outsped and one-shot it, right? I pick her to counter rallet, so she has to be fast enough to do the job. Um, next, we got DJB. So this unit got recently buffed. Uh, amazing unit now. Hard, uh, I wouldn't say hard counter Pyrrha, but counters Pyrrha pretty well, counters FCC pretty well, also counters Kick Girl to an extent. Um, very good unit. Uh, Kick Girl is basically Hua Yang, if uh, you guys are wondering. Uh, yeah, Bastion of Hope, really good. I tested this artifact. But the problem with this artifact is uh, I pick him into uh, Conqueror Lilius, right? And then he gets CR push after she has threes, but then he gets provoked. You know, 130 ER is not enough. I wish I had imprints on him, you know. If I had max imprint, he'd be at 160 ER. And then with Bastion, put that up to a 240 ER, but Unfortunately, no imprints, but he he does his job fine. Um, it's essentially at 285 speed, uh, 286 speed with a Soul Weaver uh, speed buff. So, yeah, great unit. Next we got Wondrous Silk. So my Wondrous Silk, um, I think she got a couple 20 speed gears, but uh, yeah, her ring. I don't have any fast effectiveness ring. I do want effectiveness on Wondrous Silk mainly for. Soul Weavers and uh, BBK because when you pick her, you're usually racing Cleave versus Cleave, and if your opponent locks in BBK, you want to be able to strip her. So 180F can strip some BBKs, not all of them, 
I'd say like 50% of them from my experience. So yeah, it's decent. Um, you can go Sarge. If you really want to strip BBK, you can go um, the um, old key. No, that, that hit chance. The, the one that gives 50% effectiveness, 3 star effect. The one that's on my Angel of Light. Yeah, you can go this one, Cursed Compass on her. Um, but yeah, a Sarge really good because you kill something, you're running a cleave team, you CR push your team, right? So yeah, uh, ideally you want 290 plus speed on her. Um, yeah, 280 speed, it's okay. I don't use her to uh, go first, you know, I use her as an imprint. And last but not least, uh, my Bazaar. So the thing with Bazaar is, he's not meta anymore. Angel of Light is just way better in every way. But I do pick him sometimes. Let's say my opponent pre-bans uh, Angel of Light and he drafts really weak into um, Strip plus Unbuffable. I just lock in Bazaar and he does his job perfectly fine. So usable, just not meta. Okay, now let's move on to the next category, Speed DPS Units. So first we got Acid. So here's my Acid running at 303 speed with good damage and maxed out uh, Shepherd of the Hollow. Um, this used to be on my Rowlet, but <laughs> Rowlet's got the plus 18 one now. <laughs> my Acid been drafting him so much this season, I just promoted him. He's one of my main units now. I just uh, gave him Rowlet's uh, maxed out Shepherds of the Hollow, right? <laughs> so yeah, uh, at this speed, ideally, again, uh, you want him faster, maybe 310. But 303 speed, when I drop him, I just drop him with an imprint, so you know, I think the speed's enough uh, in most circumstances. Uh, next we got Pavel, so uh, Pavel, I wish I had a maxed out um, uh, add to surface missile, meat charge uh, effect. I'll max this out when it appears in the uh, the dust shop, I think that's what it's, what it's called, right? The artifact shop again, but yeah, my Pavel is actually on the slow side. You want your uh, Pavel to be 290 plus. Uh, the fastest Pavels I've seen, uh, Elf Mages uh, and Lights is at exactly 300 speed. So that's a that's a end goal, so I'm still working on mine. Um, uh, yeah, when I draft him, I don't draft him to contest. Usually I draft him after I already picked something like a Ran or Pyra and plus sp one speed in print because if they ban my opener then my Pavel being my secondary opener will get an imprint so he'll be at, let's say I have a Silk with him he would be at 299 speed so yeah that's good enough Alright so next we got Caesarea uh, Caesarea standard build uh, maxed out stop deep you need to have the side side if you're playing her uh, this unit is very oppressive uh, I abused her a lot this season. Just an amazing, amazing uh, unit. A menace, uh, right? She does so much damage. She just takes out. The thing with her is that she doesn't crit. So units with like crit damage reduction passives, like Kick Girl or uh, LQC or Arc Demon, the, those units they just explode to my summertime hysteria. Like her bombs just does crazy amounts of damage. And her bombs do penetrate defense, uh, to take extra damage when the opponent is defense broken. So after, let's say I go ran to Syria, one of them needs to get banned or you're just gonna get cleaved. So yeah, one of the best cleavers, I say. Um, personally, my favorite. Next, we got Edda. So Edda, really strong unit. This unit is basically um, RB plus A Tywin plus Bazaar all in one. You strip, soul burn, get an extra turn. You AoE stun, you do crazy amount of damage twice. So it's like two RB S3. So let me rephrase that. She's basically two RBs, a Bazaar, and an A Tywin. All in one. One shot, one turn, does all of that. So yeah, very balanced unit. <laughs> this, this is why you play Cleave, right? So in terms of build, basically, uh, ideally you want 250 speed so she can cut uh, other openers on a consistent basis, right? 245, um, sometimes uh, she wouldn't cut, which is a big issue, so I need to make her faster. Um, she used to be faster, but I took some of her gears and put it on my other speed DPS units. So she does have to, some tankiness, which is actually pretty good into stuff like Brem, Belly, and you know, so uh, some, you know, survivability is not bad, right? 
but you don't need it, let's be real. <laughs> but some's not bad. So yeah, that's my Edda. Um, next we have Caveric. So Caveric, this unit used to be my MVP, but he's fallen off a lot. I mean, he's still usable. Uh, Sober and S2 into like uh, Emo Caveric, very powerful. Um, however, I nerfed him a lot. He used to be faster. 260 speed, still okay. It's gonna outspeed. Uh, uh, standard comps, you know, with a bunch of knights and so we uh, and uh, hand guy, for example, uh, you can you know draft Carrick and he can perform. Or sometimes you go up against a bunch of green units and Carrick just seems like the best option for cleave unit. Next we got Partis. So this unit is cleave and anti cleave in one. So mine's on Crown. I like Crown. Books are also good, but Crown just sometimes outright wins you the game. So standard speed DPS build. Uh, nothing special here. Next we have Watcher Shuri. So it's one of my speed imprints. You know, uh, he's on Sash, I need to max this out. Max on some Wondrous Silk simply because I pick uh, Wondrous Silk more. She's the best speed imprint in my opinion. Uh, Watcher Shuri, uh, standard speed DPS build. Kind of fast for Watcher Shuri 240, decent damage. Uh, yeah, with attack buff, he can one shot most things. Um, yeah, I gave him the skill notifier, uh, thingy, um, exclusive equipment. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the Wanderer Sophie. I gave her the dispel debuff, obviously, dispel immunity buff. Um, yeah, let's watch Shuri. Next, we got next speed imprint. We got Sid. So here's my Sid. So ideally, you want Sid to be fast, 290 to to 300 speed. But I just don't have enough speed DPS gears to go around. I can't gear Rand, um, uh, Aces, Pavel, and Sid. I can't gear four units uh, that fast. So yeah, have him on uh, slower build. But he hits really hard. At 240 plus, he's gonna outspeed a bunch of bruises, right? And he can one shot stuff with attack buff. I mean, he's got 300 crit damage, 3k, 3.1k attack with penetration set so he one shot something and then he gets a 40% attack buff from Wind Rider. His S1 is gonna hit really hard too so yeah very good unit. Uh, top tier when it comes to speed and print. Next we have Strauss. So Strauss I very rarely dropped him. Uh, the only place to drop him is basically into a bunch of knights right? But knights isn't really the meta. Okay, sure, Avra has T Crusad FCC, they still get picked, but by knights, I mean like multiple knights and no openers, no uh, speed contesters. Then you can lock in a Strauss and just uh, go to town, one shot something. But yeah, uh, yeah, just hard to pick him right now, unless you play a very specific way where you. Uh, that's this one guy that goes like really fast, uh, rail it and just one shot something followed by Strauss or something and do something like that or you buff him with Emilia S2 and give him a turn something like that so yeah standard build I just wish he's a bit faster but yeah I don't use him much so uh, it's got some really good gear and helmet I remember it's really good but yeah um, pretty standard build uh, next we got RB so RB yeah, RB, I nerfed him a lot. I can get him to 100 crit if I roll the health on his helmet. Uh, aside from that, yeah, nothing special yet. Yeah, I've rarely... I don't think I even drafted him. I think I think I, I did draft him maybe sometimes, but if you want to go anti-cleave, just go BBK or Violet. You don't need to go RB. But sometimes RB is really good. I think I did draft him sometimes, but yeah, maybe one in a thousand games <laughs> I would draft him in, so... Yeah, so I nerfed him a lot, nothing much to say there. Don't get me wrong, he's still decent, just uh, for my playstyle, I don't need him. Uh, next we got, oh, we already looked at Shuri, we got the other Shuri, um, Fire Shuri. So another great speed imprint made because it's 14 speed, so I built him uh, speed DPS unit. He does good damage, especially into uh, green units, like uh, the, the speed imprints, uh, we're talking about uh, Sid, uh, Vildred, he does decent damage into those units, right? Now remember correctly, he does like 7k AOE to them, so uh, with the S3. And he's deceptively tanky, so yeah, very good unit. 
worth building, trust me. When you're racing, you want him to have damage. And uh, next we have Captain Flan. So this unit, I'll just wait till she gets buffed, I won't use her, just sh uh, showing her off, that's it. <laughs> so last but not least we got Kron. So Kron anti-cleave unit, that's it. I only draft him as anti-cleave. Uh, let's say I'm going up, uh, I'm racing, my opponent maybe draft more uh, more imprints than me, maybe got Sid, Vildred. I just lock in BBK, Kron and hope for the best. Okay, now let's move on to Bruisers. So Bruce's firstly we got uh, Hua Yang, aka Kick Girl. So you can build her really fast, right? 270 speed. But for me, I went for a tankier build, 1.4k defense, 12.4k HP with decent attack. I wish I got some more imprints on her, attack imprint, and yeah, Uberius Tooth, uh, BIS artifact on her. Very oppressive unit, very strong, meta defining. Uh, next we got A Ravi. So A Pok. Gave her proof just so she doesn't get one shot by Kick Girl. Very, uh, very good artifact. Otherwise, it'll be really hard to use her. Because Kick Girl and just one shot her, right? You all, you have to protect her with like a knight, like T Crusade or Abras. So yeah, speed DPS build. Um, speed ten set, 25k HP with proof of valor enough to tank. Uh, Kick Girls and then she's got 294 crit damage, so she hits really hard. You only need attack percent on her, so my attack's really low, but mine still hits really hard because of uh, uh, HP to damage scaling and that crit damage stat. Um, that's pretty much it for Arabi. Uh, S10e, the next unit. So S10e, I want to change up her build. Uh, first of all, I want to trade immunity for penetration set, and I think she'd be fine. Yeah, because penetration S10e S3 does so much damage, and then I want to increase her damage a bit more. Uh, mine's on the very tanky side, let's be honest. People go for squishy S10 nowadays, but yeah, I can lower her tankiness. But overall, her gear quality is pretty high, remember correctly. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good helmet. Yeah, decent S10. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you guys a, a Penta Road a crit damage armor. Look at that. Okay, so next we got Emo Celine. So, Emo Celine. Hard to draft her, but in, in some uh, some drafts she excels in. So a yeah, pretty standard build. Uh, she's got godly necklace. Look at that, 18 crit, 17 speed, crit damage main, life steal set. I wish this was speed set, but yeah, the, this necklace is really good. Um, overall, yeah, made her 220 speed. Uh, ideally, you want her faster, but 220 she can outspeed a uh, bunch of tanks and bruises and she can get off her S3 right and then they can't kill her uh, in the in the proper draft like say you're going up against A Ravi and Violet uh, they can never kill her right unless they like uh, unless she gets blinded by Violet or something and does, and then yeah I, I don't know uh, I, I feel like she's uh, very very polarizing as a unit sometimes she just works wonderfully well sometimes she doesn't uh, next we got Violet, so this is one of my favorite anti-cleave units. I draft him so many times, uh, he's so good. Uh, I gave him my Excalibur, a Penta Road attack percent weapon, 51% attack, look at that. So mine's a very tanky build with high damage, uh, basically no speed. So yeah, with penetration set, so he does good damage. Uh, next we got Rem. So Rem... Yeah, sometimes you just lock in Rem, Rem Violet, Remlet, and then you hope for the best. Uh, in terms of gear, she's actually on the gear a bit. I think she, I think you know, with these stats, but like 40% more crit damage, I will be happy. So yeah, the necklace, um, I wish the speed was crit damage, and one of the flat defense role going to the crit damage, or something like that, you know. Um, flat defense is actually a, a pretty good stat, but there are better stats ideally. So next we got Landy. So my Landy, uh, standard Bruiser esque build. You can build a fast Landy, but again, I don't have enough gears to go around, so I just went for a tankier version with Guiding Light. Yeah, pretty standard. Um, so Lionheart Sermi, a very good unit. I drafted her a lot. Uh, mine's probably very different from you guys because mine's probably much. 
squish here. You guys probably build her 2k defense, 15k HP. Yeah, mine's a higher damage variant with higher speed. Because I, I play aggro, I, I, I cleave a lot. So I want her to move before my opponent moves, right? So 218 speed, pretty good. She's got some ER too, so when she gets that ER buff up, um, you have 104 ER, can resist some provokes and stuff. Yeah, uh, happy with this build, honestly. Next we have the uh, Rimuru, very good unit. Uh, I'd say proof of value, best artifact on him, but uh, I don't have it right now. It's on, I have it, but it's on a uh, Draco play very good if you have it maxed out. Mine's only plus 18, so I just went for speed. Uh, standard build, some people run 20k HP with no damage. Some people run high damage. Mine's some, somewhere in the middle, you know. Um, yeah, it's a remove. Next we got Rowlet. So Rowlet's fall off heavily, you know. Like he used to have my Max Shepherds. Now it's on Ace hit. So yeah, fall off heavily. I nerfed him quite a bit, but he's still usable. Uh, okay stats. Uh, yeah, on Bruiser. Bruiser build, life steal, penetration set. Like he can, like, like he can do well into something like a Remlet, right? If you're going up against a Rem plus Violet. Uh, Rowlet could work out because Rowlet out carries those two, right? To an extent. Yeah, he's got more evasion than Violet, so in theory, you're gonna dodge more. I know that's a meme, you know, but like, <laughs> uh, numbers don't lie, right? Um, however, if you're going up against Remlet or Bellion, why would you go Rowlet when you can just go um, Lionheart Sermia? So, yeah, uh, yeah, this unit falling off quite a bit, but still usable. I forgot Lencia, got buffed. Uh, honestly, I, I don't like her much <laughs> I've tried, <laughs> after the buff. Not great. I gave her, it's probably probably because I gave her just some average gear, like nothing special. Yeah, I didn't give, oh wait, that's a really good armor. Oh, holy crap. Okay, that armor's good, I take that back. Okay, but, oh, this ring's really good too. Okay, I did give her some good gear, but yeah, just, just a Bruiser build. Um, you don't want to attack percent on her, so some of, yeah, her gear is not optimized. Attack percent on that. Um, attack percent on that, I need to modify that. So, okay, her gear is not great, but I feel like um, she's still not that good. She's usable, just why would you pick her when you pick something like Rimuru or Violet, right? She's going to the end though, you can uh, strip the attack and crit resistance buff. Alright, next we got Carrot. So Carrot, uh, I pick her into Landy is pretty much it, um, usable still, uh, yeah, not great but not bad. Now we have BBK, so this is the ultimate anti cleave unit, I use her a lot. Yeah, ideally you want her on Bastion, but yeah, my Bastion's on Bazaar, a uh, DJB, so. Uh, this will do for now. Um, 200 ER, it's enough for certain, like I draft her into RAN and a bunch of imprints kind of draft, you know, so just uh, as anti-cleave and she usually gets banned. If she gets let through, then she just cleaves. So yeah, ideally you want Bastion, let's say you're going up against a uh, Wanderer's Silk, she has high effectiveness. If you have Bastion, you're gonna strip the debuff, right? I mean, you're gonna resist the debuff, so yeah, that's my BBK. Next we got Dilibet. Uh, I pre banned Dilibet because she's like one of the best anti cleave units. But some games when I'm going up against another cleaver, I play mind games, I don't pre ban her. And sometimes they forget that I did not pre ban her because I had to pre ban her and then and then draft a bunch of CC units and then I just lock into my Dilibet and then uh, probably win the draft, right? Because she's a must ban. So yeah, uh, Dilibet, good anti cleave unit. Uh, my build is pretty standard, she gets uh, maybe a couple more, or just one more imprint, should max out her crit, maybe a couple more, so yeah, standard, maybe a bit more crit damage would be nice, but yeah, she works fine with this build. Next we got uh, Charlotte, so this unit I dropped to Landy, but I think I dropped it two times out of 2000 games this season, and both games were losses against Landy, so yeah, it's probably my build, uh, he's on underwhelming gear, her speed's way too low, uh, yeah, pretty much it, I just don't, I used to drop her a lot, but she's fallen up quite a bit, uh, next we got SSB, 
this unit is amazing. Sometimes you go up against like Politis plus Bellion plus Caesarea, just lock in SSB and Rem and win the drop, then the last pick Violet just spam that, yeah, and you just win. So, yeah, still very good unit uh, as a counter pick uh, measure. Uh, there's a lot of units that counter her in the meta, so you can't early pick her, like Rimuru, Violet, for example, Rowana. So, yeah, you can't really early pick her, and a lot of units can counter her, uh, like uh, LR Crow, who's not even meta, they, they can lock in LR Crow plus Rowana, and your SSB gets hard counter. So, he, she's a counter pick unit, right? Uh, pick her into a bunch of fires, or a bunch of AoE, uh, squishy AoE uh, units. Next we got MO Cancel. Yeah, this unit I maybe drafted once the entire season. Just showing him to give respect. The OG. This unit was the best unit in the game at one point. Very early on. Now he's falling off super hard. Need to change him up. Maybe make him HP scaling damage. Next we got Kraus. So Kraus. Okay, so we went over all the bruises. Now let's go over the knights. So first we go over Kraus. My Kraus actually on really good gear. This unit is fallen off quite a bit though um yeah if you want to draft knights you 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 draft uh either fcc t Crescent, um a ross or eaton for protection right you don't go crowd 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 the reason why crowd's not not that great now is because a lot of the dps units um uh, they're they're like single target heavy right so crowd doesn't take much damage anymore in this meta so, yeah, you want to draft him into a lot of AoE damage, but it's a single target damage meta. Unless you're going up against a cleave team, but Kraus not great to cleave, right? Your Kraus is just going to get cleave versus a cleave team, or he's going to get controlled, or, um, you know, he just doesn't have enough speed. He's probably not going to get turns, so, yeah, he's in a hard spot. But I do draft him sometimes, I'm mainly against uh, Kick Girl. He's okay into Kick Girl, you know, maybe you get low enough and you can one shot kick girl but even then it's not a sure win when you draft him so uh, i say if you have area you can go crowd plus area into kick girl that's a good draft but i don't have area so yeah i can't do that next we got fcc still a great unit even with dj basar's uh release uh yeah great tanky unit you can pick late into the draft some people pick her early i don't like picking i don't think early picking her is the way to go now maybe three seasons ago uh, early picking her is fine, but nowadays, just better options. Better just go for an opener early pick, like, I don't know, Conqueror Lilius, Pierre Rand, something like that. Let's be real, guys. Rand's the best opener, so just go for Rand, don't go for uh, FCC first pick. Alright, next we got Bellion. So, Bellion, very good anti cleave unit. Uh, still an amazing unit because. Uh, just the existence of her makes it so that S10 e cannot be early picked. She hard counters S10 e because you know, no souls, S10 e goes book and S10 e takes heavy damage from her. We got A Tywin, so A Tywin, I rarely dropped him, but it fallen off quite a bit, but it can be used for times. His passive is still really good. Uh, cleansing a debuff. And last but not least, got Crimson Armin. Uh, yeah, pretty standard draft. Sometimes I draft her just when I want to tank up. But there are just better options for tanking right now. You just go T Crescent or A Ross. I need to build those two. So, alright, so that's it for Knights. Last but not least, let's go over the Soul Weavers. So, for Soul Weavers, we got MO Haste. I draft this into Arby as a hard counter. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. DN, I think I talked about DN already, okay. Got Ruana. Ruana really good into a lot of things this meta. Go into Green Armin, go into um, uh, Conqueror Lilius, go into anything with counter uh, basically. But yeah, I, I usually dropped it into Green Armin. Because I would try to cleave, open up and pick Green Armin, I go Ruana, then they underestimate her healing and, pu and CR pushing capabilities, and then I just win and yeah, um, she's not 75 gear, it doesn't even matter, she doesn't need good gear. I try to give her good gear, I'm like, doesn't, she doesn't need it, you know, so, yeah, amazing unit. Um, next we got Maid, so, I've rarely drafted her this season, so she's got a nice new skin, 
yeah, probably gonna move her gears around to something else. Uh, not sure yet, but yeah, she. I would say she fallen off quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's just better options. Why would you go mate when you could go DN or or even Ruel for revive? Because now single target meta, Ruel's better. Um, like Ruel's good into. You know, uh, Rimuru, a Ravi, for example. Or oh, you could go where is she? Emily. Emily is really good. Um, I have her on gear because I gave basically gave her gears to my DN. Yeah. So yeah, May not too great. So last but not least, we got Ruel. So Ruel, I dropped it sometimes, rarely though. Um, mine's not on great gear. Uh, usable, pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my uh, unit builds that I use this season. So total of 51 different builds. So yeah, next I'll be working on a Ross. So you guys want to see my a Ross? He hasn't uh, evolved into a Ross yet. He's still, a, still a first um, evolution. <laughs> never, never built Ross, man. He has. I have to build him now. He's way too good now. Uh, yeah, so and T Chrisette, I need to build up this guy too. But yeah, multiple multiple copies, really good unit. I pre banned him, and I'm probably gonna build OP Sig too. I um, experimented with JK say early on, very good unit, but I basically moved her gears to other units. Um, but she's very good. You can pick her into ML Carrick and a bunch of uh, units, and they just get resetted, you know. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, you can comment down below. So next, I'll probably be playing um, this mode. So yeah, interesting. 20 days for the E7 World Cup preliminary. So this should be a fun mode. Uh, let's see how it goes. So. Yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to join Discord. So I haven't made a video in a very long time so my Discord is probably dead but if you guys join, you, know, you can talk to me and ask me anything. So yeah, that's all guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Sodi signing out.